guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here today i'm going to be sharing with you guys what i picked up at aldi to add to my emergency pantry or as someone else called it an inflation pantry which i love that name i just feel like that's exactly one of the reasons why i started doing this pantry but I do want to share a story because I originally was going to do an Aldi shop with me and share the prices at my store here in Illinois and it got weird in Aldi. <laughs> so I went into the store and everything was fine. Um, some of the items were low, like we didn't have a lot of crackers, um, just different things. And me and my son were talking about how we needed to get some spaghetti. And the lady in front of us, I don't know if she heard me or not, but ended up taking all of the spaghetti. And other weird stuff started happening, so like mom mode automatically kicked in and I wanted to pay as like, I needed my full attention so I wasn't gonna film or anything like that. But we got to where the chicken and the meat was and it was, almost completely picked over everybody was digging in the chicken and checking prices it just got really weird and crazy and i'm like oh my gosh like is this what it's going to be like every single time that i go into the grocery store now it was insane but i'm just gonna go ahead and share you guys what i got here at home share the prices of the stuff that i bought so let's go ahead and get started okay so i have my receipt here and we're gonna start with the canned items. So I got some tomato paste, and the tomato paste was 62 cents. Some of the canned sweet corn, and the corn was 49 cents. So still good prices on the canned stuff. And I got some cream of chicken. The cream of chicken was 58 cents. I got some diced tomatoes, and the diced tomatoes were 72 cents. We also got some pesto. I love doing chicken parmesan, pesto chicken, like all that kind of stuff. So the pesto was $2.49 and more spaghetti sauce, which I think it's weird because these used to be in glass and now they're in plastic. <laughs> and the Spaghetti sauce was $1.25. I grabbed some black beans. The can of black beans was 70 cents. We have a thing of the creamy peanut butter, and the peanut butter cost me $1.69. Then we have some of the syrup. The pancake syrup was $1.45. I also really needed some saltine crackers and this was the last box of saltine crackers and they were 82 cents. Moving on to the Honey Nut Cheerios because we always need cereal in our house. We go through so much cereal and that box of Cheerios was $3.49. We also grabbed some of these crunchy granola bars in the oats and honey, and those were $1.39. Needed some soup and like the oyster crackers, and the oyster crackers were doo -doo 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 -doo, 98 cents. Some chocolate chips for baking, and then you know, if you need anything sweet. And those were $1.49. And the canned chicken, this is where things start getting expensive when I start talking about chicken. The chicken was $2.85 for these cans of chicken. And then let me show you guys my eggs and the, um, the fresh chicken that I bought. This is where things got really expensive. So these eggs, so a case, um, like a dozen large eggs, was $2.69. And let's talk about chicken. I had to put them in Ziploc bags because they were like oozing everywhere. But this thing of chicken, see if I can get it to focus better. So 
was $9.56 and it was $3.69 per pound of chicken. That just seems insane to me and the chicken doesn't even really look that great but I eat a lot of chicken so I grabbed some of that and then we also just got another small thing of chicken because the chicken was slim pickings and this one was 534 and the same like 370 um this one was 379 per pound um this one is the other brand at aldi and this one was 671 and this brand is 479 per pound like i just feel like that's so expensive and chicken was slim pickings so it was like if you wanted it you had to grab it after i filmed my haul of what i recently bought at aldi and i believe i mentioned some of the canned items didn't seem to be going up that much but i think i thought that because i was just so used to paying those prices and i don't shop at aldi that much anymore so I decided to do some digging and see what prices were at the beginning of the year. I couldn't find everything that I purchased, but I did find a few items, so I made a list. Apparently, I'm all about lists lately. So, diced tomatoes in the beginning of this year were 48 cents, and I paid 72. Tomato paste was 42 cents, and now it is 62 cents. Corn was the same, so 49 cents. I couldn't find um, cream of chicken, but I believe that is the same price if you buy the Aldi brand, which I, I didn't write that down, but I believe it was 50 cents. Um, black beans were 55 cents, and now I paid 70. Pasta sauce, 85 cents. And here's a huge one. So eggs were a dollar, 40 and I paid two dollars and 69 cents and I knew when I said how much eggs were that they were so expensive because I do not remember paying that much for eggs and then chicken was three dollars and 12 cents per pound and I believe I said I paid for the Aldi brand I think it was 362 and then the like organic chicken that they had I believe was like 467 per pound which is insane that is insane and then prices just seem to be keep on going up and up and I just didn't realize how much like I knew things were going up but I didn't realize how much until I decided to see what prices were at the beginning of this year and it just reminds me of why I decided to start my emergency pantry or inflation pantry. I apologize for not remembering who said that comment but it just is reassuring. I hope hopefully that makes sense but to see all the changes and what's happening it just makes me feel confident in my decision to start my pantry. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I appreciate you guys so much. I love reading your comments. So comment down below if you've seen huge price increases at your Aldi or certain things that you buy, if you've noticed a huge difference. I love reading them. So I will see you guys in the next video. All right, bye.